versus my daddy. Bert is my daddy. Hello? Holy shit. G'day. How you doing, guys? Hello, 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 hello. Oh, boy, oh, boy. <sighs> Bert is my daddy. Ah. Got a few people to shout out. Welcome to the stream, everybody. We have... Sean Dragon Knight, thank you for the 18 months. Glad you've been enjoying yourself, dude. Thank you for the 18 months. Ali, coming in with 10 gifted subs. Thank you so much. Welcome to the brand new subs, courtesy of Ali. Mod extraordinaire. <laughs> and owner of my pop figure that I'm got to get somehow. CJ Hayes, thank you for the 22 months. Howdy to you too, dude. Cinder Hart, thank you for the five months. Matolius, thank you for the 19. Gaze Gaming, thank you for the 400 bits. Tails, thank you for the 18. Is this Cripple Warfare? Whoa! Whoa! No. Ah, I'm turning the aircon on. Not that it's really hot today, but, you know, it's hot under my fucking PC. It's like an oven. So, we get some airflow going. Good day for a wall, a roller, a rollaby, <laughs> a robbery wallaby. Yeah, I don't know why I combine those two words for. 
Back in Van Horn. It's been a while. How long has it been? Five days? Four days? Five days. Five, I think. Five, six? I don't know. Maybe. I don't know. How long has it been? Someone tell me. <sighs> Too long for the storyline addiction. Yeah, I apologize, but we're back. I'll check my grams in a minute. Six days. Damn. Damn. Did some um, Valheim yesterday. I actually did two Valheim streams. And it was really, really fun. Really, really fun. But I feel like doing some RP today. So we are back. Um, hopefully you don't kill anyone. That'd be a nice change. Six days. Uh, makes it even juicier. Also, enjoy the Valheim yesterday. Thank you, dude. When I see this beard, I want to go shower. So do I, actually. <laughs> so do I. So do I. Re really liked watching the VOD. Why, thank you very much. It was a lot of fun. And I suspect that it's going to be continuing to have a lot of fun in that game as soon as I play it again, which will probably be in the next couple of days. Uh, I didn't miss much. Been sick since Saturday evening. Oh, sorry to hear that, man. Good to see that you're feeling better, though. Is that a fucking NPC? That's an NPC, I think. Don't forget your movement seed. I've been thinking about it. I think I might leave it at 100 now. I don't know. I'd like to roleplay some kind of... recovery in terms of him getting used to having the injury. But I don't know if 100 might be too much. I'm not sure. We might bump up Versus to 80. My daddy. We might bump it to 80. Let's bump it to 80. Versus my daddy. Loving this dark arch. Keep up the great content, Verse. Why, thank you, Bates. Thank you for the five months. Appreciate you, my friend. All right. Let's go check the grams. Loving this dark arc. Why, thank you, dude. Yeah, it's, um... It's kind of interesting where it all goes. It's, no, it's not going to go anywhere good, I tell you that much. It's not going to go anywhere good. It does make sense to potentially get better and you were really Thanks strict so far so maybe dreams. up just a little yeah i think 80 is good brad 888 thank you for the 17 months thanks for all the great streams i oh, thank you man i i'm glad you think my streams are, are good that's um very kind of you thank you happy ending good guy wallaby yeah i think the chances of wallaby and a happy ending have uh, diminished to almost zero in fact we might be even Sub zero. <laughs> what do you mean? Wallaby's a great, lovely guy. <sighs> well, you know, I don't know. It's it's hard to it's hard to really get a read on uh, what Wallaby is. Because we all know that he was a very caring character. Does that just go away? Is it there somewhere? <clears throat> Is he doing bad things because he's a he's just purely bad? Or does or does he do what he feels like you have to do in order to survive in this in this type of life? I don't know. There's little there's ways you can read into it. I think it's a combination of a lot of things. A lot of it is, you know, part of the game. You gotta do what you gotta do. Part of it is paranoia. Part of it is trauma and loss. Um, but there's obviously something. Because he holds onto this watch that Eddie gave him. You know what I mean? Misunderstood little murderer. Well, here's the thing. He's never gone and just murdered someone for the sake of murdering someone, right? 
Like, I dis I disregard, like, the shootout kills. Um, I'm talking flat-out murder. Hank? No, Hank wasn't flat-out murder. That He was guilty of shit, man. Like, he was doing stuff. Everyone that Wallabies killed, as far as I can tell, except for Hart, were bad people. I think. I might be wrong. But Hart wasn't murdered. That was a duel. I'm not saying... By the way, I'm not saying Wallaby's a good guy. It's justified. But what I'm saying is... He, he only really kills people that are involved in the game. Bolo? Mate, as soon as you start informing to law, you're, you're in the game. Dale wasn't murder. That was manslaughter. Nice try, though. Nice try, though. He's like Dexter. No, he's not like Dexter at all. He's not a serial killer. He hasn't just—he hasn't killed people for his pleasure. He strategically takes people out. Hathaway business. We are indeed. Let me know when you want to meet. Just stopped by Van Horn. Had a couple of questions regarding the slaughterhouse. Don't know if you knew. We've been using it for quite some time, so we are aware of some events. Ooh. Spoke to Dakota, so she let, so she can let you know. These motherfuckers took the slaughterhouse, eh? Up and around, Everett. Ah, well, that's old news. Around for that meeting, Everett. Nah, mate, no, no meeting. Hathaway, away. Unfortunately, law caught me. Sorry, caught up to me. Getting out on the 17th. Tomorrow. Rip. Wesley, Wolfman. Man called Dickie Raffa was searching around Van Horn for a blondie. He wore a wolf mask and seemed to think this blondie was a woman. Okay. Domino, work. I'm around. Though pretty wanted. Is this today? This is today. Okay. This is today. Um, that's the best part about my services. I don't give a fuck. <laughs> I need stone cold cash. If you catch my drift. Last time was a success in my eyes. Let me know if you need anything done that others will hesitate doing. Yes. Okay, we'll keep that in our back pocket. That could be potentially good. Wallaby only kills people who pose a threat. Good morning there. Angel in my eyes. Hmm. Good morning. Well, the thing is, if you play, if if you get on the chessboard with Wallaby, you need to be prepared that if. If you are a threat to any of, if to him or his pieces on the board, he will take you out. If you don't set foot on the chessboard, you're safe. Has Wallaby gone back to way about the armor? Yes, yes, I have. Um, do I anything? Do, do I need anything while I'm here? I do not. Where are these telegrams? Why am I holding on to them? Bert is my dad. No idea. Hammer time. Well, always have your talent as my getaway. Thank you, brother. Now, thank you, brother. Appreciate the 22 months. If you get on the chessboard or if you're related to Husky. Ah, there you go. Yes. So, what's going on with the the, the tar box um, lineage thing is probably, in my eyes, the most evil thing he's done because you are right. There mostly innocent. I, I wouldn't say Blondie or Jasper. I don't want to say he's innocent. He's a bit of a prick. But Matilda's absolutely innocent. And if he kills her, in my eyes, I'm just trying to think. I think that might be the first time he murders someone for pleasure. For his own satisfaction. Which would be a huge thing for the character if I did that. But we'll see where it goes. I would say Jasper's innocent beep boop. He's he, he he really fucked over his own people. 
Like, as, as much as Wallaby manipulated him, he still was willing to just fucking kill his people. He sat there and watched Ganon die. He didn't lift a finger to help Ganon. Matilda, though, she's, she's a sweetheart. She doesn't deserve any of it. We'll see. Nothing is set in stone. I kind of know where... I know where Wallaby wants to go with it all. But... <laughs> it very rarely does that happen, so... I think Wallaby will actually come to like Matilda unless Jasper convinced her to believe the truth. Well, well I don't know, but we'll see. I mean, we've seen in the past that liking someone doesn't make you safe with Wallaby. If it, if it, if it benefits, if it benefits him and Van Horn, particularly Van Horn, if it benefits Van Horn, it doesn't matter if he likes you or not. That's irrelevant. But you are right. The Matilda situation isn't for Van Horn. So, there's always that possibility. Boom. So, what's up with Wallaby? Why is he walking like someone took advantage on... Yeah, okay, here we go. No, 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 no. I never... You mean, why has he got a limp? Yeah, go, go, go back and watch the VOD, man. Fuck you. <laughs> I keep thinking Wallaby has a mask on. It's... It's the beard. You think I should shave it off? buy cigars in the saloon. Yeah, I know. But then I have to go near people. Hammer time. Thank you again, dude. Um, yes. Yes, please. Yes, shave it off. <laughs> no, I'm not going to shave it off. Just to spite you all. God forbid a man has a limp look so dirty that's the point that's the point i i love having visual representation like here's the thing with wallaby i can literally show you a screenshot of wallaby throughout the storyline and you'll know what part of the story it is visually Yeah, it's a morning beard, for those of you who don't know. It's a morning beard. This one we find if Dakota's around. Oh yeah, she didn't run up to the door, so no, she's not. Alright, who we got here? Oh no, she's around. Alice Harry Dakota. I did see there's Pete. Who's that? Mm. I feel like I know who that is, but I don't know. It's not it. Yeah, Alvin. <laughs> Alvin's fucking dead. Well, he's not dead, actually. Could be Dick. Oh, God. Who shot? I if there's got a pull. Yeah, it could be Dick. Dick Van Dyke. What a name. That's why the fish weren't biting. Because the gold. You gotta call the gold. Oh, Lucille's here too. That's what it is. Van Horn, sign the pop. Right. Beautiful. I'll keep that in mind. Which might have on me. 73 bucks. I got a. I gotta, hmm. I gotta check these telegrams. I might want to chuck some of these. I don't. I don't want these in my inventory. It's unfathomable that Dick is even a not name option in, in in English. I 
Yeah, I don't know what that's about, actually. <laughs> I don't know what that's about. Charles Morgan. I'm gonna keep I'm gonna keep hold of this. I wanna see Charles Morgan. That son of a bitch. Um Test results and samples you gave. Have a sample back also. Recent test results should want it. Who's this from again? This is from Bellatrix. Who gave me this? Someone gave me this. Fuck, I need a refresh on what the fuck I'm even doing in my life. This telegram has been transcribed. Operator. Ah, oh, that's the Annie thing. Well, this is irrelevant now. That's the Dakota telegram. Right, this is, yeah, this is from Dakota. She gave it to this me. This story has been beyond captivating. I can't remember why. Thank you for your talent, good sir. It oh, is truly you. amazing what you have done with this character. Oh, thank you, man. We're, we're getting towards the end. That is, the, yeah, uh, it was something to do with Dakota. How old is Wallaby? In my head, like 28, 29, my head cannon. How you doing? Howdy. What's your name again? Uh, Dick. That's right. Mm -hmm. Good to see you again. Good to see you as well. Where did Pete go? He's down there. Let's go check in on these two motherfuckers. Let's get the RP flowing. The big D. <laughs> hey, kid. Hmm. What's going on? I'm back. I had some business to take care of out there. He was sleeping with a woman. Well, that's good news. I got it in somehow! Congratulations. I don't need to know. Should we go have a little chat? Yes. Alright, let's get a catch up. I don't know idea what's been going on in Van Hall in the last few days. We have to find Every out. It's been fucking morning. I've just been waking up and standing around a goddamn box. I'm getting tired of it. Who's this? Who's the? Who's this? Who's this? Who's this? God damn! Who the fuck you is this? You know the this? economy's in shambles. Who's what that you lady? mean? How so? Um, I think that's Solace. That's one of Wesley's friends. Okay. Thank God we have her yeah, here, Solace man. She's cool. updating on everything. <laughs> Get I me on the know her. Like she's never giving me a problem. Where's it going? Um, sleeping in. He's been sleeping late these days, so probably won't see him for another two hours. Damn. I know that I think Ethan's doing like a new job or something, so his time's gonna be a little bit different to what they used to be. I heard he's he's feeling better though, so that's good. Yeah, apparently he didn't have tuberculosis, and apparently Harry's been having hallucinations about him being his hotel. I'm kinda happy to hear the rest of that fucking statement. <laughs> Alright, let's so hear what fucking what shit's going surgery. on. Wallaby's never met Leroy, no. Right. All right. All right. The so one's been going on. Okay, hold on. I go lie, ain't got a goddamn clue. She's got a list, has she? Yes, oh, she is. Thank you for the Rainbow fire. Get the subs, dude. She's got a list. You don't I made a list. You got a list. Run. I made a list. But um, okay, well, I can't say that one, and I can't say that one. Uh, oh, there's a gift from Annie that you still haven't picked up. Wait. Um, wait. There was. A, oh, Rod, Rod, Bird, wait, man. No. Yeah, yeah. Uh, and then the tinkerer was stopping at Telegrams with that dick fella and also oh, asking about the spelling of Moxley's name. Um, and every time that she would go out, she would abruptly stop at the Telegram station in a very suspicious manner. Since I found that out, she hasn't been seen since. 
Uh, and then I also found out, which doesn't matter well, anymore, that daddy. Eli and Preacher were apparently plotting together to kill Matt, um, and then Preacher just ended up dying, so that went nowhere. I see. So Preacher shook mm -hmm. my hand, and he, he was still uh, and plotting. And in other news, fucker. Nancy showed back up into the rug store while Dio was hosting his sparring matches in the uh, underneath the rug store, which I find very strange as I found out that Nancy was recently out west uh, trying to assassinate Waggy for shooting Dio, who was riding with some folk. So she's out there doing her, her wait, man's wait, wait, gang wait, wait, of wait, wait, vengeance. Wait, wait, wait. See that? All are good. So Nancy is with this Dio fella who apparently got shot down by Waggy. And uh, Nancy took it upon herself to go out west and attempt to assassinate Waggy in the streets of Armadillo. And how did that go? Uh, apparently she shot around him in a very perfect line and missed every single shot, so he's fine, and then she got shot down. Um, but my issue comes with her showing back up in the rug store, hosting business and things, because Waggy's folk were around asking about her if she was uh, still here, and I told them no, because uh, I assumed wait. since she ain't been here in eons and then lo and behold she comes back into town i'll have a word with her about it yeah i asked her just to get her side of the story and apparently she was doing it for that deal fella he got himself into some trouble which he did it for, for him. yep what else um i do have a telegram actually that is very very useful uh, oh, about cool. that thank Quinn lady. Let me go get it off my horse. Dotty, thank you for the ten dollar donor. I appreciate the hell out of that. Thank you so much. TCME four twenty. Think for twenty one months. I see what you did there. The hell, are you feeling? I am as well as ever. So. Not too bad. Not too bad at all. How are you? We'll talk about it later. Now, this uh, what is this telegram what? was brought to me by some fella named Jude, who. Uh, in exchange for it, he wanted some help with me finding some folk for this death event thing that he's hosting. Um, and I agreed and I got that from him if you want to take a look. I don't know who acquired it, but he brought it to me. Yeah, he sent me a telegram about that stuff, but, uh, slipped my mind. Gwendolyn Harper, dear Ezekiel, I hope you can keep this confidential. <laughs> well, that fucking went well. The last thing I need is for the people involved to hear I've been looking into them. My dear sister Quinn was recently kidnapped and harmed by the Dead End Gang. Oh, for fuck's sake. I've been told they're quite dangerous and very, very paranoid. True, true, true. However, I can't help but think, think that information is safety. If you would hear any gossip ah, or know anything about this gang that could help me if keep my sister safe, I would they appreciate they it greatly. Died, uh... I do not plan to act on it, but just in no, case, I don't have to know so. whom to hire right. or talk How you doing, to Wes? take care of this yeah, right. issue, I, uh, issue if I it came to repeat itself. Who the so fuck? Can find any. Gwendolyn Harper. That's unfortunate. Make sure this stays confidential. Yeah, Find what you can, me. and I'll make sure to reimburse you for your troubles. Kindest regards. How are we looking as Could far someone as... someone fucking tell me who the fuck Gwendolyn Harper is? I have no fucking idea. I'm assuming her sister, because Quinn, Harper, and then... All right. Quinn is the deputy's girlfriend, right? Yeah. Well then, seems we have more problems. Seems so. Very well. 
The uh, only other person that I know that is attached to Quinn, uh, she, I was asking her about some folk that she knew when I was talking to her in here, and apparently she is close with this woman named Ashen, I think. Ash, Ashen? Yeah, did she fucking squeal? Oh. Does this, though? Looks uh. like Quinn confided in. Seems like this Gwendolyn is looking to hire someone to do something about it. Potentially. Hmm. Alright. Does anyone here... Um, Wesley, do you know Domino's Telegram? I don't know. Alright. Harry might. Yeah, Harry will love it. Wesley, can you go tell Harry? Go get it. Tell her, no, no, no. Tell her to telegram Domino to come to Van Horn. All right. Anything else? Um, not at the moment, no. Oh, I did, I did see Everett as well about that. I know he mentioned that he was looking to have a meeting with you about something. Everett, who does he work with again? Is that? Bastard. Yeah, yeah. I do not plan to act on it, but just in case, I'd like to know whom to hire. Or talk to take care of this issue if it came to repeat itself. Who is Ezekiel? I'm not too sure. I was wondering if it was a, one of Jude's folk or something, I'm but I'm. Telegram. Jude? He's uh, some, I don't know, fucking guy with a mustache. I want to see Jude. I can send him a telegram. And we have Ezekiel's telegram too. Mm -hmm. Alright. Let's go to Emerald. Get your wagon beat. And come back to Van Horn. Alright. Interesting. Interesting. Gwendolyn just stepped on the board, boys. It was all fun and games until she started insinuating hiring people to take care of us. So glad Dakota remembered the telegram. I was waiting for this. Dakota's very good at remember. Ev she remembers everything. She's like she's perfect for uh, for Wallaby. Alice. Alice. How are you yeah. doing? Well, I was doing fine until a few seconds ago. What was wrong? Oh, nothing. I'm just not looking forward to seeing a man who shot me. Which one? You've been shot by. Ah. Oh. Never got to repay the favor for that. Oh, the old blunt for blunt. Already had to stomach seeing them the other night. Well, look at me. Don't break Matt's heart. I have ways to give you what you want. 
but you must be patient. And you must do something for me. What? There's a man by the name of Ezekiel. I need to know everything about him. Who he is. Where he ventures. Who his friends are. Alright. I have his telegram. Write this down. Mm -hmm. T Z two one one. I've been pretty good. Alright. Keep in discreet. Find out what you can. Pretty good. And we'll talk about Domino in the future. What about you, Wesley? Yeah, that'd be nice, wouldn't it? That'd be nice. Well, we can have a look around. We can have a look at the board. Mm -mm -mm. Share the load. Get some water, Verts. <laughs> I got a coffee. That's Wallaby's voice, man. What can I tell, what can I tell you? I don't know about the Atlas vs. Domino arc. Well, the whole Western War thing that happened, I believe Domino shot her. And... The West being the West, she wants her blood back. Now, is Wallaby actually going to give her Domino's blood? I don't know. Maybe he's just using her. Maybe he's not. It's all part of the fucking mistake and mystery, man. Wesley, did you get any more telegrams about your father? Hey, what do you mean? Like when the funeral is? Yeah, or anything uh, about that. Yesterday when I checked, they didn't have anything, no. I see. I check again. Because them folk are telegramming Scout asking to have a meeting. What? Oh. Which I thought was strange since, you know, that seems to be your business. Yeah, I mean... I, I, We're in the thick I of it. I left off calling Christine's finest in a worm, so maybe she doesn't think I've talked to her much Gwendolyn. Anymore. I see. Gwendolyn. I love how Gwendolyn writes a telegram and the first line is please keep this confidential and it somehow gets to Wallaby and this is the benefit of being the big scary dude on the server is that people will do shit like this like give you information like this to get in your good books now if Ezekiel is the one that gave the telegram over like, well, okay, what I want to do is I want to reward whoever gave this information forward. I think we should give that person money. I think we should reward that person. What do you guys think? I think that'd be a good play. Wasn't Wallaby's voice much higher? Haven't watched in a long time. Yeah, yeah, it was higher. That was a long time ago, though. It's progressed since then, obviously. Do yeah. Telegram him on the zoo. Alright. Instead of giving this guy money, we might give him like some bonds or some gold bars or something. I think that'd be cool. That way the RP extends. It's not just his money. And that's it. It's like, here's some bonds. Now you can use them to do like a quest or something to get something from the job board. I don't know. I think that'd be a better option. Is that the law? Been poking around? 
Uh, I talked to you, Dick and Solis, and they said they haven't seen anyone else come to this town in the last, like, five days or so. Apart from Dakota, Matt, and uh, that lady they always with. So? Yeah, that one, yeah. I sent you the telegram about that guy that, uh, that was looking for Blondie. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I forgot about that. Where is my daddy? Right, Four and one. Thanks for the E, dude. Uh, Been and Wallaby, the so they'll, they'll Keep up have the good name work. or how the name was described to me. Get the wagon mm -hmm. in the right. Oh God! Hello there. Hello. Are you talking about getting a drink from the saloon over there? Yes, I am. Yes, I'm quite partial. Holy hell! No. Why not? I must walk to Duke then. to go check he's okay with the carriage Can I just, uh, yeah, can I just check my telegrams real quick before we move on? Of course. Interesting. There are, uh, still some things that I gotta talk to you about, but just when nobody else is kicking about. Scary stuff, man. I'm fucking scared of my own character. <laughs> Dude, <laughs> Wallaby makes me shit myself. <laughs> Voice, the young version was happy and trying to hide his. What are you doing, Luna? Uh, now his older voice shows through because things got so bad. Now he just aged up and he's 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 matured. He's withstood damage. And I've said it before, and I'll say it again. It'd be very weird if I was like sitting in Van Horn being like. All right, listen up. We run things here in Van Horn. And if anyone talks to anybody, I'm going to fucking kill you. But we don't fuck around out here in Van Horn. Because I'm the, I'm the wallaby kid. I'm the best at what I do. 
it wouldn't work. <laughs> and then we break in the song. Consider yourself at home. Consider yourself part of the family. We've taken to you so strong. It's clear we're going to get along. <laughs> wouldn't work. But his voice changes from 19 to 30. Well, you see, in my head canon, you gotta understand, in my on the server, you gotta be 19, right? But in my head, a lot of the wallaby DK stuff, I always imagine them being like 11, 12 years old. And also, he wasn't he wasn't smoking 30 cigars a day either back when he was doing the, the DK stuff. Knives, thank you so much for being here and dancing with your little. What is that? No idea what that is, but it's adorable. Oh, kill, thank you for the gift of sub to Kira. Kira Kitty, hello. Miss you? I miss you too. When are you gonna bring Rennie back so I can kill her? I mean, hug her. One, dude, you know what breaks my heart? I think we got to blame Jasper, man. The LJ situation might have gone differently if we had that full-on discussion with Rennie. She might have said things that might have swayed Wallaby to act sooner. You don't know. And we'll never know. Because Jasper decided to fuck it. <laughs> we'll never know. Did we put everything on the back of this wagon? I think we did, right? At least I did, I believe. <coughs> I'm totally okay with blaming Jasper. He's very easy to blame for everything. Easy target. Okay, no one really... Okay, I think I did transfer all my shit. I'll check. box and in the strong box we got lots of bits and bobs oh those things didn't we go scout uh, Hello, man. Anything? scout anything? has a few more bonds i think maybe anything? only 20 ish good to see you bud you see you good to see you will you still not been to jail nope god damn how are you doing man not too bad You've been filled in on everything. Define everything. Dakota tell you about that telegram? Know about Tinker? Gwendolyn. I think I might be able to find her rather easily actually. 
of call there was a uh, note down by one of the telegrams that said there was a Gwendolyn looking for artists. Artists were one. No idea, but it might be the Gwendolyn that sent the other telegram. I don't have the telegram on this notice. I don't have the telegram from it, but... Where was it? I believe it was in St. Denis, but it wasn't there last time I checked. Fuck. Might be able to find it somewhere again. I've got it. It's on the telegram. Might be useful for luring her in if you wanted to. Indeed. One more thing again. Hmm. Actually, could I just talk to just you one oh. real quick? Yeah, come with me. Careful, Pete. Sue has a friend. I don't know if you heard him talk about her. Can't say he has. And her name is Riley. She's been here in Van Horn a few times. She's real eager. So I have a... I've sort of been taking her under my wing a little bit now. Trying to uh, teach you the things that I can do. Just in case. Riley is there. Yep, Riley. That's her name. You've taken a liking to her. And more just. She's moldable. Mm. And I figure if Eli does end up getting the better of me at some point, it'd be good to have somebody that can replace me. You think Eli's gonna get the best of you? I don't think he can, but I don't plan for that. Plan for the worst. Done that. We need fresh blood here in Van Horn. That way we leave a legacy that lives on. Him? I just thought I should let you know that I was starting to teach her in case you saw her about. She might be acting funny, trying to emulate what I do. <laughs> yeah, guys, we got a spin-off. <laughs> Van Horn. So I've given her the task. kids. You trust this, Riley? I don't trust you enough to have given any actual information. What we all do. Is she but aware I'm... of what Van Horn means? And what is at stake? Not yet, but she will soon. I just want to put her through her paces at first. When you See think you... she's ready, you let me know. And I'll, I'll do show that. her what it means to be part of Van Horn. Thank you for letting me know. 
Yep. If you need me to take care of Gwendolyn as well, I can probably do that easy enough. Are you around today? Well, I won't be around today for very long. Hmm. But I'll be around all day tomorrow and the next day. Yeah. And yeah. most of the day the day after that. I'll keep it in mind. She is a uh, threat, and I'll be honest, I don't like that being out there. Oh, she needs a talking to. She needs to learn what it means. To threaten Van Horn in any way, shape, or form. Hmm. That's an easy enough lesson to taunt. I'll find her. I'll still keep my ears and eye open in case an opportunity arises. Of course. Good to see you, man. Good to see you as well. Interesting. So he's got a little protege thing going on too. I like that. I, I like having um, potentially new people coming in. Fresh faces. New, new people that have young, ambitious, exciting stories ahead of them. I didn't realize that it was impacting me so much, but it is. I think I'm going to lash out. I, I don't even have to say any of those things. Is Alice. Oh. Trying to think who I can sell these fucking gold and bonds to, man. We might have to go look for quests because I can't think of anybody. The Chedzos aren't really around. Hathaway is in jail. So what the fuck? Matt's been, Matt's been fucking testing me, you know that? Why? I think I've just been around him too long. I'm, I'm going sick of him. Still on the run. Calm I'm down, the Dakota. Dakota. Being on the run. Jesus Christ. Mm -hmm. Where's Domino? I think I'm going to send Domino to find Gwendolyn. I don't know if I want him to actually kidnap her, though. Maybe boy. just find her. And then we can go ride out for her, maybe. What do you think? I think you should deal with her. Oh, man, they're gonna make me. They get. They're going to put me on the wanted list if I do that. I don't want to be wanted yet. Asking if anybody's ever said that to you before, no, I was just right. wondering. To me, no. Yeah. No one ever said. To see if that fella in Telegram or, back. Who's mommy's okay. little boy? No one ever said that to me. What are you doing, Wallaby? Sorry, I spoke over you. I'm getting her to check her Telegram. Okay. I'm going with you just to check my Telegram. Has anyone seen Drummer in like forever? No. I have no way of that. I've been looking for him. I'm going with you just because I got you. Hey, where the fuck is Drummer, uh, dude? Of course! What? What? Pain in my ass, Maybe man. Maybe don't bring it to Van Horn. Pain in my ass. No, I wouldn't bring it to Van Horn. Mask and new clothes. <laughs> Oh man, they will figure it out so fucking quickly, believe in me. Who the fuck is this? Who are you? 
Morning. Who are you? Are you fucking kidding me? You. Hi, right, sir. How are you doing today? I said, who are you? What is your name? You two over here. Anyone, hey, sir. Anyone recognizes this man? But, uh, I do apologize. My uh, ears were being a bit uh, cotton filled. Uh, I don't yeah, think that. So. What is your name? Uh, my name is James. Good to meet you. My name is James. What brings you to Van Horn? Uh, I just went to the uh, shop just to see if I could just sell some bits and bobs that I'm carrying around that I no longer need. Turns out you cannot sell a knife at Van Horn. Is that so? We don't even buy knives here. We don't uh, no, just, uh, just at the shop there. I don't know why. I think I need to go to a gunsmith to sell it off. Where are you running from, friend? Uh, up north somewhere. I can't remember the place, to be perfectly honest. I'm still getting used to the names of places. And are you... you to the crossing? Uh, yeah, I just arrived yesterday. Exciting. Yeah, I like Indeed. to think it is. It's welcome. a break. Uh, thank you very much. I appreciate your welcome, gentlemen. Uh, what, what were your names? <laughs> I'm Pete. Nice to meet you, Pete. And I'm yes. Wesley. Nice to meet you, Wesley. How are you doing? Wesley, not Wesley. Wesley. Yeah, there you go. There we go. I got there in the end. And what is it you do for work? Uh, sorry? What is it you do for work? Uh, well, I'm an ex-soldier, so I'm still trying to figure out what I want to do for work. A couple of my body buddies helped me up do some uh, local jobs here and there, usually going to job boards and whatnot. Oh, I'm working uh. man. Uh, I like to think so, uh, but it doesn't always work out for me. Last time I tried to do any honest work at McFarlane's, I ended up being eaten by a wolf, so that just tells you my luck. Any Anything... Any speciality when you were a soldier? When you were serving? Uh, mainly rivers, boats, anything to do with the water. I am good on it, pretty much. That's uh, all it was. I was raised by a boating family. Uh, no, you know, not a navy. I'm not okay, a navy. Sorry, sorry. British Army just fought in South Africa. All that jazz. Nothing too out of the ordinary, really. I see. Very well. Enjoy your trip back north. Thank you very much. I hope you gentlemen enjoy your day as well. <clears throat> this domino. <clears throat> domino. Yeah, I wish I was the person who thought about Howdy. using that color. Goodness of him. Likewise. I got, got a telegram from uh, from Harry. Yeah. Come with me. Hello, there, Pete, hello Wesley. Hey, what, what did you say, Harry? I said hello, Pete. Uh, hello, Wesley. Oh, all right. None of your business. I like your coat. Thank you. I don't think he asks what kind of town Van Horn is, maybe? Oh, well, he's probably going to figure that out now. You. No one bound. Woman by the name of Gwendolyn. Sister of the lady you kidnapped for me. Uh, would that be the sister of uh, Quinn? Quinn Harper? That's correct. Uh, and the only thing I know is that she she apparently is a twin. What? I think it was Dakota who said that they, they thought that they talked to Quinn at one time, but it was actually her sister. 
I assume they, they look alike. Well, I have a little work for you. Okay. I want you to find this Gwendolyn. Don't want you to harm her or take her. I just need you to find and tell me where she is. Keep an eye on her. Yeah, I can do that. What is your price? Something like that, I would just say. I don't know, 300. <clears throat> 200. I mean, you also gotta consider, Wallaby, you know, I could be out there, you know, doing God knows what and earn a whole lot of money off it, right? Dangerous. I wanna... I, I wanna, I wanna, I don't wanna do this, right? I mean, you know, let's let's meet in the middle, two fifty, and uh, and I'll, uh, I'll 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 find her. Two fifty, done. I have her telegram, and we may have a lead that she's looking for an artist. Perhaps you can bait her in. Okay, what's your telegram number? C R nine eight zero. C R nine eight zero. And her name was Gwendo Gwendolyn Harper. Sister of Quinn. Okay. Get eyes on her. You say C R mm. and say <clears throat> Is that funny? Okay. No, no, no. Okay, how come your voice changed like that? What? No, nothing. I was. Did you did you say CR? And then when he said is that something? No, no, no. No, no I mean, no, no, no. No, no. Because it goes up and it goes down. Just like life. Yeah. Okay, Dakota, do you know how uh, Gwendolyn? What what, what she looks like? <laughs> I have no fucking idea, but they apparently they're twins. So then it'd be the same as one you did before. Yep. Okay, well I I guess I just need to find the those pretty boy deputies and I probably will go hand in hand. I'm sure you do fine. Happy hunting. Thank you. By the way, have any of you uh, seen uh, Alice around here today? Yeah. She uh, she's still in Van Horn. Not sure. What concern that is your? Uh, I just want to talk with her. Maybe best wait until after you do the job. Okay. Well, I'm uh, I'm gonna get right to it then. I'll uh, see you all around. All right, best of luck. Dakota? Good luck. Don't you dare. Dakota? It's not going to happen. Could you please move out of the way so I can get to my job? Yes, of course. What are you telling me what's going to happen? They want me in a political marriage with Domino. You just rolled right over on that one. I think he just wanted to work past you. Oh, the bastards. I think it's just a joke, but... Riley. Oh my god. Alright, we gotta sell this shit. By the way, Wallaby. Yeah. This is Riley. Hello. Hello there. Pleasure to meet you. Pleasure to meet you too. I've Love heard you. quite a bit about you. Oh, you have? Mm. That's nice. He was talking about me. Well, that would be Matt. Are oh. you enjoying Van Horn? Yes, yeah, pretty good. I fish here a lot, so. Tell me, where is Sue? I think 
He's sleeping right now. Would you be so kind to let me know when you see him? Yeah, sure thing. I can do that for you. Lovely. I'm going to get him to do something. <laughs> Riley. All right, I think. Oh man, fuck! Do we wait for the scout? I feel like we should wait for the scout before we transport this shit because he's got some. What's the matter with you? I'm nothing's wrong. I'm just watching the wagon, like I'm supposed to do. Mm -hmm. What was Harry's reaction to Alvin? Did she have any? I don't think she even knows. You scared her, you meanie. Well, yeah. Trying to think. How do I involve Sue in, in Riley's little test? Huh. And how do I do it in a way so he learns something too? Go robbing? Mm. Don't think that's that. No, no. I think Harry had been head over heels in love with Wallaby at one time. Now she fears him. Well, she didn't know Wallaby. And then she got to learn what he was all about. I'm just gonna check my telegrams to see who I've got that could possibly buy my bullshit. They're all fucking dead or gone, man. So fucking depressing. The only one I can think of that might buy it is Peter Rockwell, but I don't think he would be buying it nowadays. I really don't think he would. I think he's too lawful. Let me check. Contacts. Oh boy, oh boy, oh boy. Pearly? Is Pearly even around now? Um, let me, you know what? Let me, let me telegram him. I'm assuming he's not around. I shouldn't assume. Pearly. Wallaby. Sale. Have some items for sale. Mister? Are you interested? in taking them off my hands. I'm gonna put AKA, I'm gonna put the Wallaby kid. Web boy. Web boy is dead, man. He's never coming back. <laughs> Pearl is my only hope for it, I reckon. Hello. If not, we can just use it for the job boards, which I wouldn't I wouldn't mind doing. It's just I would only really... I don't know if I want to do them for money. I'd rather do it for Nitro, but I think we have, like, a bit of a... Nitro... Um, stack building. We could also plan a bank robbery, but I don't know. Inventory check time? Yeah, we should probably do that. I want to get an idea of what we actually have.
Uh, great. You missed all that much, man. Oh, well, you no, know, you've missed some important stuff. Um, this we got a telegram that was quite disturbing. So the sister of Quinn, who we scared, I think was it last time I streamed, we scared her. The sister of her is doing some snooping about Van Horn, trying to get information about us, and also insinuated hiring someone to do something to us so we're looking into that we're looking for her at the moment um we'll see what happens we'll see what happens <coughs> trying to think what i'm gonna do with sue and riley Could ask the gang about what Tess Riley could do, should do. Oh no, I got ideas. I'm just trying to incorporate Sue into it somehow. That's all. That's all. That twin is not very bright. Don't tell me that. Oh, right. No, you're not, you're not telling me that. You're just saying, should have known by now not to we're fuck with Van Horn. Right. Well, here's the thing. What we know is, is that she said something to the sister. And we told Quinn not to tell anybody anything, right? But she told the sister. So, how do we proceed? How do we proceed? Did she tell Law? See, this is the thing that Wallaby's thinking now. If she told the sister, does that mean she told Law? Did she tell Hammer? Am I wanted right now? That's what I'm thinking. See, I didn't harm her last time. Hmm. Riley. We actually don't know what she told. They would suspect Van Horn either way. That's also true. That's also true. But the telegram is very... Let me read it out again. Let me read it out again. I hope you can f keep this confidential. Last thing I need is for the people involved to hear. I've been looking into them. Fucking rip. My dear sister, Quinn, was recently kidnapped and harmed by the dead end gang. Okay. She doesn't say she was recently kidnapped and I suspect it was a dead end gang. She says... It, as, a, as a fact, it was a dead-end gang. I've been told they're quite dangerous and very, very paranoid. Where did they get this information from? Where did she... This is a true statement, but where did she get this information from? However, I can't help but think that information... That information is safety. Okay, so she's looking for... Okay, she's not looking to act. She's looking to prepare to act if she needs to. If you would hear any gossip or know anything about this gang that can help... So that could help keep my sister safe, I would appreciate it greatly. I do not plan to act on it. That's important. But, just in case, I'd like to know whom to hire or talk to take care of this. Take care of this issue if it came to repeat itself. Make sure to s this stays confidential, my god. And this, bro, the fact this is in Wallaby's hands. <laughs> this person, Ezekiel, fucked her over so bad. 
literally could not be in the worst hair in worse hands it's in the worst fucking hands find what you can and i'll make sure to reimburse you for your troubles oh jesus well how do we deal with gwendolyn guys here's what i think here's how i think we should handle it i don't think we kidnap her i don't think we hurt her i think we ride up to her we'd lean in and just say something like you're barking up the rotten tree i never heard of your sister and tell her that i know what she's doing that's going to make her, one, scared. Two, she's probably going to flip out at this dude here. That'll cause inner turmoil, which will then scare her into asking anyone else for help. I think that's the way we play it. I think that's how we play it. We don't harm her. We just let her know that we know. Say something from the telegram. Hundred percent, hundred percent wanted next hour. Why would I be wanted for that? Uh, what she needs is a warning. Yeah, that's what I mean. Like, we'll just we'll be like, bitch. We know your plan and stuff. We know you're trying to you're looking into me. Well, here I am. You wouldn't be wanted for that. Mind games would be perfect. That's that's what I'm thinking. <sighs> that's that's how we play it, I think. I think that's the smart way of playing it. <sighs> Wait for Pearly. Sell off this shit. We got we got Domino out there looking for her. If we can find out where she is, that'd be really cool if we could do that. I wish we had a telegram office in Van Horn. Can we fix this? Can we have a telegram office in Van Horn, please? That would never do it. But imagine if we had one right here. Imagine if we had one right here. They won't do it because I think... I think uh, they like that we have to go out to check telegrams because that gives Laura a chance to arrest us and whatnot. We would still leave anyway. But, you know, it would be cool if we had one. Um, but this program at least says Quinn spoke. I think it might be a lot of assumption. I, I think it's likely as well. Okay. We got, we got to think about all the options here. Could Quinn have told her that it was us? Absolutely could have. However, it could also be Hammer. Because Hammer was so sure that it was us, Hammer might have told her that it was us. Do you know what I mean? So we can't just assume that it was Quinn. Ugh. Hammer came in hot. He did. He did. I'm hoping... Hmm. I'm not going to share that much, actually. No, that was just a very strange day for me, I think. I don't know what the fuck happened to me. You're not done. I'm gonna put fifty dollars on blackjack real quick. I just want I just wanna get a hundred bucks in my in my pocket. I think I'm gonna need it. Have Riley bit the shit out of Gwendolyn? No. No, it's too much too soon. I'm gonna put fifty down, one hand, all in. Let's fucking go. 
All in, let's go. I got to also talk to Dakota. She said she had stuff for me that she wanted to tell me in front of everybody. So we should probably pull her aside after this. See what's going on. Oh, 16. Oh, God, that fucking reeks. Oh, my God, the 16. I think we have to stand and hope he gets a 14, then busts. That's, that's the play. We're going to have to stand. Please, please bust. Please bust. Please bust. Yes. Yes! Perfect. That's exactly what we needed. All right, let's go talk to Dakota real quick. Let's see what she's got for us. Out of my way. Hold on. Man, where's the sea? Where's my sea, man? We have conditions. I, I do. Yeah. Blind in right eye, chunk of flesh missing on hip. Yeah, swallow me. Is that you had things to tell me? Yeah, a few. Um, I was speaking to Scout. A few nights ago, uh, before he went out of town. And do you remember when I sent you that telegram about him and Pete having that strange meeting? Where I was asked to leave? Yeah. Um, I, I pressed on it a little bit, because he was, he was pressing me on what had happened down in the rug store when he came down. Uh, to see you and I having a conversation. Oh, yes. Okay. Um, okay. And I'll just tell him we were just speaking. And then he, he told me that he has some questions to ask you. So I said, well, what are they? And he said, uh, he's not going to tell me. So I asked him uh, what was spoken about in that meeting that I was asked to leave the room for. And he told me that it was simply just Pete asking him to co-lead. And he assumed that Pete didn't want to ask in front of everybody. And um, I, I found that strange enough to take note of because the same day, about an hour before, Pete asked me if it was a good idea to ask Scout about it. So I'm not exactly sure why I would be asked to leave the room if it was only something like that, some advice I gave Pete. And I know that she asked me to keep an, an ear out, so I just found it strange as all. They are doubting me. Scout, I don't think, um, but I think there might be some things stirring around in Pete's head some days. I just find it strange that Scout would lie, I guess. You know... What happens if they find me weak? Weakness has no place in Van Orn. I know. What else? 
I uh, went to the doctors on that about that telegram that I gave you. Mm. And uh, while I was there, I was having a conversation about everything. And uh, I, I got a, a strange nosebleed the other day. Um, and I thought that it was because I laughed too hard at a peanut. Uh, it was a very funny peanut. I wish you could have seen it. But um, I was talking to the doctor and uh, I asked why, you know, I'd be getting so many nosebleed things. And I think. How do you? You all good talking or something? Uh, yeah, I'm just talking about some things. All right. You want some room? Yes, What's please. wrong, Bobby? Nothing is wrong, Pete. Do you think something is wrong? Honestly, yeah. I'm worried about you. And what are you worried about? Your eye. Your health. What of it? <laughs> I ain't blind. Well, something's wrong. I ain't getting any better. Making sure you're okay, that's all. Can't have you killing over. I'll leave you to it anyway. Now, why would he go and say something like that? So, um, the doctor's gonna send me a telegram with some information on it, uh, and I'll, I'll show you that. But the thing that I wanted to tell you about was, um, when I was talking to her about the nosebleed, she was mentioning, um, possible causes, and she mentioned stress, which obviously, you know, it's probably the, the root of it, but she also mentioned, um, something that I thought was a bit useful for you. Uh, there's, uh, apparently something can happen in the, uh, brain that causes swelling or, uh, sometimes there's blood or fluid that, that leaks. And, um, she was telling me ways to, to alleviate pressure building in the head that causes, you know, nosebleeds, ear bleeds, and sometimes eye, eye bleeding. And uh, they mentioned that there's a medical procedure called, I think she said it was called a shunt. Uh, so I read a little bit about it. And it's this, this thing where they put a, a hole in your head and they put a tube in it so that whatever is building up the pressure on the head, it can, it can come out. And you will um, this would cure me. I don't know. I just wanted to let you know it's a, a, a serious thing, so. Mm. But that's what she was telling me about, so I figured it might be useful for you to know. 
about even if you, you do nothing with it, that's fine. Leaving with me. Everything else. I will. Not at the time being, no. Thank you. Of course. I'm sorry. Maybe he's on the zoo. Nope, he's still sleeping. Where is he sleeping? He's tired, boy. I said, where? Oh, in his hotel room back there. You should go knock on his door relentlessly. Uh, I could. You want a telegram? Mm. I'll come with you. You know you can talk to me about that shit, right? I care about you, bud. Last thing I want is something for somebody to happen to you and for me to be fucking clueless. Nothing from Pearly. Son of a bitch. Think pizza being genuine? Oh, I think so too. Mostly. <laughs> Mostly. Oh, I just got one. Oh! Maybe? need from you i am of course interested in what you have just let me know the quantities and we'll set up a meeting we'll be available next couple of for the next couple of hours per perfect Good. hello come here hey. where the hell did you go out there is he blind I need an exact quantity on what we have in that wagon. I have a bio. Alright, easy enough. Mm. Do you want it right at this moment so you can send a telegram? Yeah. Alright, give me a minute. Alright, I'll be here.
We got a buyer, boys. We got a buyer. Thank fuck. Cute horse. I know. Hi. It's new and it was named by Dakota. And from. More than I. A good name. Need snow and Found a buyer for around wood. Oh, that's good. Got a van on. Keep an eye right. on paid for me. He's getting the numbers of one we have. Yeah, so. I can tell. Well done. Oh. Um. I'm uh, gonna. Come with me. Mostly you go ahead. Oh, yeah, just gonna buy two more gun oil and yeah. Pete, oh Pete. Fall. Oh, no. I'm going to use the bathroom, guys. And then I'll be back. All right. Give me two minutes. Two minutes. Go right back.
Lovely place Ideally, for a smoke. I'd like Twitch to not bother me about I'm this, back. But it has for the last two weeks. So, woo. <sighs> okay. Oh, he's here. Perfect. You got a number for me. Yes, 12 gold bars and one, sorry, 10 bonds. Uh, we also have some gems assorted. Why, why only 10 bonds? Because that's how many we got in the boxes. Uh, did we not, did we not do a run for, yeah, we did. We did a run for 20 bonds, like, uh. Run, run. All right, yeah, 12 and 10. All right. Yeah. And I believe Scout has some more. Right, we might use that for jobs. Okay. Alright, prepare the wagon for moving. I'll yeah, set up it's, a she, she's uh she's good to go. Alright, where do we meet? Uh I reckon we meet at Shady Bell. Wallaby, goods, 12 times gold, 10 times bonds. Also, gems. Actually, no, I'm going to keep the gems for Taipan. 10 times bonds. Shady Bell. 20 minutes. Apples? They didn't do the code word stuff anymore. Precious beans! Thank you for the two months. Ideally, I'd like Twitch to not bother me about this, but it has for the last two weeks, so... Woo. Ready to ride? Uh, don't you have a bunch of gold in Wallaby's room? No, I transported that onto the wagon, I'm pretty sure. I'll, I'll double check, but I think I did. I put it in the box and then I... Mm, I'll double check, I'll double check. I'll double check. <clears throat> All right, we're gonna meet at Shady Bell in 20 minutes. All right, sounds good. Who's this buyer? Probably. All right. <clears throat> Uh, keep some for quest quest woods. What the fuck are you trying to tell me? I think Scout has bonds. I think Scout has bonds. Quest rewards. Ah, right. Yes. Yes. Well, that's what Scout stuff's going to be used for, I, I believe. Um, how much dynamite do we have? Not a lot. If I need it all. I, I believe. Was collecting nitro. Yes, uh, Wesley has got one. Uh, I, I believe he's been looking for more today. I think Scout may have one as well. Might have a dynamite already made up. Same with Matt. Uh, but I personally don't have any. Right. I need a coffee. I didn't right, know. We're leaving in 15 minutes. Out of the way, Peck. Let me check. I'm pretty sure I don't have anything. Stop calling it coffee. You drink milk with coffee. You an idiot. So if you eat a steak that has sauce on it, you're not eating a steak. You're eating sauce with a steak. Are you dumb?
Yeah, I don't have anything. I don't have anything. I knew I didn't. I knew I didn't. Alright. I'm Swedish. We are experts on real coffee. Oh god, here we go. Here we go. Mate. My family's Italian. We invented coffee. Actually, no, we didn't invent coffee. But. Cappuccino, motherfucker. Where's my coffee? According to Mr. Sweet over here, unless you actually get the coffee beans and eat them raw, you're not actually having coffee. Water is diluting the coffee. Therefore, you must eat the beans. It's the only way to experience the true taste of coffee. Oh, you fucking asshole. Come here. Fuck okay, it, whatever. Okay. Alright. I didn't know- I didn't even know Sweden was known for its coffee. Lesser magic. Thank you for the 500 bits, buddy. How you doing, Lesser? Sweden and coffee are practically synonymous. Sweden is more famous for ABBA than it is for coffee. All right, let's be real. Sweden has always been meatballs in Ikea. What? All right, we're going to murder Pete in about 20 minutes at Shady Bell in front of the Dicenzos to assert our dominance.
Just finished the Valheim stream from last night. What did I miss, chat? Oh my god. What's happened? Not hallucinating. What do you mean? Oh, is that Sue? Perfect timing. If it is him. Some of his wrists, nothing. It's just something, it's something to do with that point of view when using the watch. If you look at his wrists, they're fine. I think you're fucking crazy. Morning. You're losing it. What is going no, on? I don't think I am. A shootout started because Harry waved at a man. Also, Sue's here now. Oh. Yes, I see that. Good. Hello. Perfect timing. Come with me. Okay. <clears throat> Can I come too? Morning, everybody. That's nothing exciting, but sure. Okay. Yay. All right. In this wagon, we have twelve gold bars, ten bank bonds. We are gonna transport it out and meet with some folk to sell it off. I want you to lead negotiations. I want you to make us as much money as possible. Okay, and what is the target rate? Like minimum, I guess? That is for you to figure out. If you are gonna be in this line of work, you need to enter the wolf's den sometimes unprepared. Okay. Sometimes you'll be all alone, and you have to find your way out of the dark. Make all it right. work. All right. What the fuck? Never do that again. Never do that again. What am um. I doing? Twirling around a horse. All right. Ah, Jesus. Ride. Yeah, sure. All right. Pedlin's good going. All right. Where'd I put my horse? I put it up here at the inn, but they had a shootout, so it's probably fucking gone. Careful. <gasps> I did. I think, I think he's actually dead. It's just glitched, yeah. I thought he was going to fucking start yeah, shooting me. Yeah, that's, that's the exact fella, probably. Someone move that yeah. horse, please. Okay, looks like we're leaving now, I guess. Jump on the wagon with Pete. All right. Yeah, it's going ah. very Still having hood problem. Good. Let's get on the wagon, Wes. Yep, I'm doing. with us? Nope. Where's Alice? On the back of the wagon. Oh. He's gonna offer them $10 each. <laughs> we'll see, man. Wallaby wants him to experience all this shit. See, Wallaby, for those of you that have been around for a while, you know this. Wallaby is the type of person that will walk into a room of six people or more by himself when this when these group of people want him dead, and he'll walk out with a deal. It's happened a 
lot. It's happened, yeah, it's happened quite a few times where a group will want to hurt Wallaby or kill him, and Wallaby will walk in and be like, all right, let's fucking talk this. Let's talk this out. And he'll do it by himself. So this is not the same thing, obviously, but he wants to throw him into the deep end and just, he's going to have to come up with something. That's the test. The city passes. Sounds like a on the back of the wagon. I don't know why I find that adorable. Because <laughs> Alice is adorable. Obviously. this song and whenever I am just free roaming oh, story mode is perfect you do uh, is that is, is that do you do the through the YouTube version So Hathaway wanted to talk to us about what happened to Slaughterhouse. Was he gonna, was he gonna try to scold us? Like, this is our, this is our building. You can't be hurting people in here, because I tell you right now, Wallaby will put him in his fucking place. so much. I like Hathaway, I do. But Wallaby... It's Wallaby, right? I'm gonna show Telegram. Whoa. I'll be back here shortly. Wait here. Right. 
is what you're probably saying. Can't make it for another hour. <laughs> This is a target from Domino. By the way, I fixed the shader, guys. Bada boom, bada bing, bang, bing, bang, bong. <laughs> yeah. Haven't been here in a while. What was the name of the girl that lived lived here? Wallaby was seeing when he was young. That lived there. I don't remember. Shader is bad. Dude, shut up. Lived where? I think he's saying Shady Bell. Lucille? Uh, she might have lived there actually for a short time. You might be right. I remember someone living there. It might have been her. Can you ragdoll? from Domino yet, so I guess Gwendolyn hasn't been spotted. Yeah, I'm not, I'm not giving him that. Just help me move them, help me move them to this lever bag. I hate to place any kind of a dynamite. Does it make you nervous? It does a little if bit. If I took a little gun out and I started like pointing it around. Uh, don't, don't okay, do that I know. just wondering. Slightly shaky, yeah. <laughs> You wobble a little, little bit. A little quiver How in you my doing, Wallaby? Doing well. How are you doing, gentlemen? Yeah, doing doing all right. Welcome home. I ain't see you since you got out. Yeah, good to see you too. How are things in Saint Denis? You know, same old. Ben is picking up mayor elections and all this shit. You don't say. Oh, oh yes. Go on the brothers. 
We'll use that one now. How goes the brothers? Hey, you want to come grab these? Oh, they uh, they they doing fine. They you know, over there oh. in New York. Mm. Zaddy got shot, but other than that, he he did get shot. Yeah. Minor mm. grazing. Yeah. Alive though. That's the main. Oh, he's yeah. fine. Yeah. Oh. Well, it's good to see so many of you around. Yeah. Got folks around, you know. Mm. Well, I'm not gonna be negotiating with you today. You have the back. No negotiation. Not from me. So give him the back. Is gonna do some talking with you. Hello. What he says. Might as well talk for me. All right. Who is this? Hello, hello. Name is Sue. Good to meet you all. All right, I'm Pearly. You, you Look, said your name Pearly. was Sue? What, what was it? <laughs> Sue, Sue McKenzie. You can call me <laughs> Mac. McKenzie. Oh, he's All embracing right. Mac. Are you doing Sue? Yes. You're doing okay. What's y'all's names? The Mac and Cheese. My name's Sergio. How you doing? Sergio, Pearly, I am. My name's Effie. Effie, hey, good to meet you three. Hello yeah. to the other three over there. Okay. Well, um... Oh shit, I guess uh, we're negotiating over the price of these bars. So I'm just gonna ask you, what, what would you like for it? For free, oh, I'd like it for free, right? <laughs> yeah, well, I Come guess on, it, it ain't an ideal world, so. Yeah, yeah, so what, 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 what's, it, uh, what's it looking like? What's it looking like? <sighs> well, you say, you know, I, I've been running around doing work around this cross for the last few weeks regarding these mm -hmm. gold bars, and I, I personally, I, I'm fire. seeing a regular round shit 75 to 85 per gold bar at these job boards and whatnot mm -hmm. right right so it's you know if that's the that, right? if that's you know the average you know price that i'm coming across i'd say that you know maybe once a blue moon you might get lucky get a really good job they're gonna be a little extra for that maybe 90 95. so i'd say why not we just uh hmm go ahead go ahead just uh throw a figure out there you know okay 90 bucks per Who is this man? 95 per. <laughs> <laughs> I appreciate so the uh I appreciate the twinge in your uh in your smile there. Well, do you said the uh, said so uh, speaks for you. Yeah, Negotiation time. Sure, sure. Oh, learn. Go ahead. Yeah. Learn bully Go ahead. too much yeah. now. Yeah, you know, 95, you know, that's uh <laughs> It's a hell of a price right there. At the end of the day, as uh, as I'm sure you're aware, being a business-minded individual, I can tell, I can tell about you. <laughs> we are also business-minded individuals, and uh, with that comes, you know, many risks, many factors we have to take into consideration, especially when uh, we may be transporting some of these illicit goods, you know. Pesky eyes <laughs> may vary towards us. Uh -huh. So all these things come into consideration in the price. Now, 90 to 95, you know, what's the point of even getting up in the morning for that kind of, <laughs> that kind of uh, problem, right, Barley? What's the, the point of getting up? up? Yeah. What are you talking about? You're talking about risk for pesky eyes. Not only are we dealing with pesky eyes, but we're also dealing between dodging through the gun smoke and, and having bullets coming at our backs and fronts. You know, I'm by no means. running through the trees, you know, running for my life to keep these things, you know, secured and bring them back so I can have this business deal with you. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. And by no means am I uh, attempting to discredit what you guys have been through to acquire these goods. But uh, at 95, I'm not even making barely a dollar per bar. We'll be losing money. We'll be losing money, really. Losing especially money. with how things come across on those boards, you know, it can be very testy. Okay. Oh, well, then, what's your uh, response to that, then? What's your counter offer? What you thinking, Parley? <laughs> we were thinking more in the 45 range. 45 range are you, uh, that is crazy I was so hey, you're, you're talking uh, about so what's the point in getting up in the morning 
45 is, is goddamn crazy that they, they don't make well, shit the ammo I bought to get these bars costing more than that Uh, like Highway I told you, I, I, I go run around, do work, and, and you know, look Come for all these soon. people who want to buy these bars. I, I you know, I've seen an average of 75 to 85. Can't help him. He needs to do it himself. 45, I ain't gonna cut it. Alright. So what's your counter offer today? 85. <laughs> 85. 85. Now I'm, I'm I'm sure you're going around in boards quite a lot, and so have I. You know that 85, the profit that you're talking, that ain't even taking into account the, uh, the the wagon repair, the crates, none of that. Well, I mean, you don't we, have to worry talking, about the crates. We're, we're the supplying profit, them. Uh, 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 Eighty-three dollars and seventy-seven cents at most. Well, I mean, like you said, the crate costs you ain't gonna have to worry about because we're supplying you with the luggage to carry these. Oh, I don't know if a crate gonna break. How many gems and sons do we have? It's high, way too high. I didn't give them the gems. I gave them the gold and the bones. Oh, sorry. How about? Uh, we got two fifty. Six emeralds, C250, listen, free I, diamonds, I and free rubies. Deals, but you're busting my balls over here. 5250 is still crazy low. Yeah, that's crazy because that's the kind of reaction. Yeah, I've, I've, uh, I've got them all in a gym pouch. I'm a horse, so just let me know. I guess, uh, I guess this is what people call even ground. Hey, well, uh, that's negotiating for you, I guess. Oh, don't don't worry. I'm not new to this. 5250, I ain't gonna cut it. Oh, shit, my last software is 85. I'd say, uh, 75. I'd, I'd say let's go down to a flat 80. <laughs> you want to talk about profits? Now you're in a profit margin. Sure, it ain't maybe as big as you wanted, That's like grand. with 52.50, but we're in the profits now. You're still in the profit margin now. <laughs> the, the profit is exactly marginal. So little. You fellas are going to get rich off this deal. <laughs> well, let me look. I, I put it like this. Getting rich off this deal. He talking about twelve bars, three dollar uh, profit. What, what's, what's that? Thirty five dollars. Are, uh, are you looking to make profit from the bars? Or are you looking to use them for other deeds? Who knows? Mm. Right. Either way, either way, that, that is that is too bar. high. How's um? How's 60? 60? We're getting there, slowly. <laughs> no. <laughs> no. <laughs> Sidebar? No. Oh. Oh, look at that. Fresh and thunder. Sounds like we're getting closer to a deal, I will say. Sure, yeah. <laughs> I'm about to go sell these myself, talking about 52, 15, 60 bucks. Oh, uh, you're doing good. Your head again. 
too bad I'm here. I'm sorry. Face first onto the newspaper. <laughs> so sad. No one took on my way. No, 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 they didn't. They didn't. You're fine. I'm gonna... I guess I don't want to change your bandages now, but no, I can no, if you'd like no, me to. No, no. It's going away. Good. Your face, hold on. No, no, leave it, it's fine. You're bleeding. Well, everyone fucking bleeds. be honest with you there uh, mr Purley. Mm -hmm. but with the fact that we're supplying the the stuff that's holding these items i'd, I'd say that at the very minimum i'd want 63 for them each because you supply what the items that are actually carrying these gold bars i mean these you know the crates are like 20 bucks a piece these bags are 15 bucks a piece you know what i covered a crate but it's gonna be sixty, and that you know, it's that that's what it is. I mean, if if you cover the crates on on top of uh, the sixty per, then sure, then then I'll deal with you on there. Yeah, so it's gonna be sixty per plus four. What was that? Forty dollars. Uh, I don't know who, who bought these. Uh, the crate and the shit that's carrying the gold. Forty bucks. Okay, then the sixty per, and then forty bucks on top. Sure, that's fair. All right, uh, very well. Now the uh, you also had some bonds, and if I remember correctly, you said a hundred bonds, correct? Oh no, ten bonds. Oh, just ten. I thought it was uh, ten stacks of bonds. Mm, no, ten. All right. Is there a problem with that? No, no, no. It's all right. How how much you uh, want for the bonds? Uh, the 22 per. We'll do 22. Okay, very well. All right, so what are we looking at? Um, there's 220 for, uh, no, yeah, 220 for the bonds. 40, 300. You just gave them away, man. 720. All right. Final amount. Yeah, that is a, that is a bit of money into that. What is the? It's two twenty, forty, and then the, the seven twenty. So it's two. Look, um, there's there's one other yeah, box. I think Pete, did they already put it in the wagon? Yes. Oh. Yeah, okay. It's nine forty, right? No more. Is that nine forty? It's nine forty plus the forty of the crate, nine eighty total. Yeah. Nine eighty. Yep. Nine eighty. All right. How about because you were such a good negotiator, we gonna ride it up to a thousand? Okay. Sounds good to me. So, I appreciate that. Deal. You'll learn here for sure.
Now let me know if you can see this here thousand dollars. Yeah, I'll you see, see them clear as day. All right. Thank you very much, Mr. Burley. Thank you. Excellent. Uh, everything loaded up. Come with me. The other bag right in front of you too. Right there, oh, yeah. yeah. Uh, Pat it in the can you grab that. Yep. Yeah. All right. All right. Yeah. What be? Appreciate you helping me teach the boy. Oh, absolutely. I'm sure he'll be a great man you on the rise. Fucking still on those bones, you son of a bitch. I, look, I was going to tell him the last time we did 23. Uh, but come on now. It's good. It's good. Can't wait for the next time. Well, until next time, I guess. All right. It was Indeed. good to see y'all. We uh, yeah, take, it easy here. take it easy. All right. Take y'all send word if y'all need something. Have a good one. All right. See you later, Daddy. Take care. Yeah, good to make you too. Olivia, yeah, it makes me think of that too. What? Something in the middle. Everything okay? Mm -hmm. I'm going on, sit with me. Of course. Take off your hat. Can I? Horrific burn around the blind eye.
hate this, but I love it too. Thank you, man. Look at him creeping about. It's a cool shot of Wallaby. That's a cloth with Warner. Gently cleans his face. He's at the window. I can hear him. This is my daddy. Thank you, Alcatraz. Thank you for 25 months, brother. <clears throat> Time fly. Feels like just yesterday I found your YouTube about RP on Red Dead with Baz. Fucking Pete. Pete decided to invite himself in. What are you doing here? What is it that you were looking to see? I just wanted to make sure you're okay. Is that what you want? No wallaby. Ain't that morbid? Come on now. When I see my fr my friend fucking bleeding from his head every every time we go out, I I'm getting worried about you. And there's only so so many times I can be told to look the other way. I see that you got people taking care of you. I'm happy now. Same old wallaby to me. I or not. Very interesting. Pete?
I love this roleplay, by the way, guys. This is some really cool um, story right now. Oh, my fucking mouse ran out of battery. <laughs> I, I really want the inner conflict, man. I love what Davey's doing. I love that he's doing it. No, I just. Uh, it would be really like boring space. if, uh, mm, yeah, if the injury wallaby he... didn't concern yeah, people. Like you know what I mean? Well, he's twice the size I am. Maybe three times. There's a lot of space up here. Mm -hmm. There's a lot of space back here. Which way are we going back? Same way? Same to new. Alright. Show as much they care. Yeah, I think, uh, I think Pete is genuine but i also think that he's concerned about what happens if wallaby like can't lead Watch it. one of the first things he did with uh when he took over Van Horn while he was gone was like apparently went around saying that he's you know things are gonna be different with him in charge and shit like that just, just go through saint denis probably we'll go to the telegrams all right. Well, oh shoot! Good. Sorry, sorry, folks. My apologies. <laughs> oh, he's hat. Bert is my dad. Nemo, thank you for the nine months, bro. How you doing, mate? Where's my dog? Using to lay on her comfortable bed as usual. Chug, I'm normally not a fan of injury RP, but you are doing it very well. Chug, weren't you in someone else's chat saying that you fucking hate Wallaby? You're not gonna watch any watch me anymore? You son of a bitch. Wasn't that you? <laughs> Wasn't that you? <laughs> Wallaby and not me, then I'm doing a good job. He's supposed to be a villain. Where you want me to go with the wagon? I said in your chat that it was a bit too dark for me, but I'm still hooked. Yeah, I got you, man. I understand. It's a very dark story, man. It's a very dark story. Yeah, fuck with that guy going. Yeah, that was a bit weird how he went through there like that. I think that might be one of the Dicenzos, right? I think 
the way that Wallaby's so dark is, is one of the main reasons why I can't roleplay him every day anymore. Because it is, it, it, you know, it gets to me too. Playing such a dark character and a dark story. And I know it's just going to get darker. Sheriff Banks cloak. Not cloak. Coat. I've seen that one in a while. Telegram Domino. Morning, Mr. Coda. Oh. I just sent you a telegram. Well, that is ever so cool. <laughs> Seems so. Is that um, the guy? If you'd like to head to Van Horn, we're going to be there. Have a conversation. I see. Yeah, we'll be out your way in just a second here. you think it was? What you tell me? Hard to see how it can get darker than Peach's funeral in the aftermath, but we'll see. Oh man, trust me. I can get, I can get, I can make it worse. Peaches thing was considering what she was doing with the sheriff nothing from Zhang away yet he might not be around he'll get back to me I'm not in a rush with all that it's fine He's lying to him and he's not trustworthy and he knows too much. Shit. I don't mean to do that. Far back. What's going on? Hmm. Turning Bill and eventually getting him to kill his best friend seems darker than Peaches. Hmm. 
the Matilda situation is the darkest, I think. Because Matilda is absolutely 100% innocent of doing anything. She hasn't done anything to harm Wallaby. She hasn't done anything to threaten Wallaby. She's not trying to kill him. She's not going to try and get him. She's not trying to get him arrested. Dakota's mad. Alice is stealing her job. Maybe. Might be worth talking to her about. Let me hang back. I'm worried that you don't need me anymore. Is that what you think? To a certain degree. Especially, uh... She turned on everybody that ever cared for her. Because of one man. To worried about. Let me tell you something, Nagoda. You are irreplaceable. Your concerns should not be concerning. Alice has her uses. I know, yeah, it's just, I just like caring for you, so it's hard to watch somebody else do it. You know that. Peaches. Well, the thing is, man, is that, you know, everything that Wallaby ever said to Peaches ever becomes null and void as soon as you know. She's sleeping with a fucking sheriff. Allison Mills were supposed to be part of Van Horn, and as soon as Jack came back, they both bailed. I go find out who that is. So I understand there. why she would feel that way. Wallaby has his guy? uh his opinions and his oh, his, his thoughts about yeah, the whole situation. Tired of these animal hat wearing people. The fuck is that? fish um some snags on the dead bodies but that happened mm. i'll go see who's by the lighthouse all right 
we're gonna test Riley at some point in a little bit here. First, gotta meet with this dude, I think. I think he might be the one that gave us the telegram. I'm curious to find out what that's about. I uh, spoke with Jude at the telegram office, so I told him to come here. The one in the yellow boat. Mm hmm. And that's the one that gave you the telegram. Yes, it is. Bring him down to the wrong store. Uh, before you go, I uh, still have all this money on me. Give it a hurry. Okay. Come down. Uh, okay, will do. Down the yeah. Store. Come on. Trench shrooms. Thank you for 13 months. Sending my love. Oh, thank you, man. I send my love back to you. What are we talking with this guy about? Is this about the death thing? The death fight? We gave that telegram. Oh, about yeah, yeah, yeah. I want to find out why. Okay. Drugstore warfare. <laughs> never had a shirt in here. Ne I would never want to either. It's just choke points. It'd be it'd be a sweat fest. Wouldn't be fun at all. Like I said, uh, I did meet him a few weeks ago. He mentioned the death fight, but uh, <clears throat> honestly, I didn't bring it up. I didn't think it was important. I think I thought we had more important things. She said I was, I looked like a hot air balloon pilot, <laughs> but a hot air balloon, like a hot, hot air balloon pilot. Well, maybe maybe she's right. Oh. Can I get a hot air balloon? No. Why would you want one? They cause nothing but death. Did you want to sit down in the chair? Well, if not, if you were, yeah, you're going to sit yeah, on the yeah, other chair. I mean, this, this is a conversation for later. Yeah, okay. We'll you can sit in the chair if you'd like. I will. Correct. Pleasure to meet you. Name is Richard Eastwick. That is mine.
Of course. Anything in particular you wish to know? Such a friendly deed from someone I do not know. It makes me wonder why. Why so kind? I'll raise your question with a question, Mr. Eastwick. Do you like games? fond of games, Mr. Eastwick. I bring you this little piece of correspondence, and in return I was hoping Mr. Koto could help me find a competitor or two for a tournament I'm hosting. to me directly. Is that so? You are Ezekiel. Just another game. I like to frolic about and see what I can find. I stumbled upon Miss Harper. Out near Braithwaite Manor looking for work, I told the same tale. Got her talking for a while about a bunch of nothing, and then that telegram came. I go by many others when I travel. Ezekiel and David, Isaac, a lot of them. the tournament. I also suppose I'm not a man that's easily entertained. Right. I do like myself. Some entertainment. But let me warn you, Mr. June. You like games. And that's fine and dandy, but you do not play games with me. You understand? Clear as crystal. still to be decided. I have a few venues in mind. I've already found one fighter. 
I was hoping to get six competitors, but finding those willing to sacrifice their lives is harder than you'd believe. Winners will walk away with $5,000 a head. I've set my sights a little low and I'm looking for four competitors. Perhaps if you could coerce someone into competing, well, they could make themselves some pretty coin. And eternal glory, of course. Money is a good motivator. What venues are you looking at? Well, I'm considering Guama, amongst other places. Rathskeller is also a decent option. You would be doing yourself a disservice. Follow me. I mean no disrespect, Mr. Eastwick, but tell me, if you were going to spend your last night on Earth, would you want to die in a place like this? I don't know if it's a matter of security, Mr. Eastwick. And what is it a matter of? Jurisdiction, to say the least. And you think you'll get that in Rathskella? No, but I know I'll get it in Guama. Mm, yeah. You are right, the ideal place to go and die. A fucking shithole of an island. You're not fond of it, I take it. I am not. I've only heard tales of it. But yes, I'll gladly consider this as a venue if you lot are interested as well. And I mean what I say, Mr. Eastwick. I mean no disrespect. Life is a sacred thing, and if I, to be told, I've considered 
Entering my own tournament, and I tell you this. Fate is a fickle mistress, and if she would have me die, I would rather look upon the stars, wouldn't you? At least for a moment. Is my daddy. For now, to be entertained. Be Money doesn't entice me. Things like a sort of fairy tale, you could say. So the tawny for now. At this moment, yes, but I have a small company that rides with me. Tickle me curious, Mr. Eastwick. Gwendolyn Harper. this message be you are the player of games are you not <coughs> she stepped on the board I want you to show her What that means. Get creative. Show me what you can do. These talk of games and entertainment mean nothing. I've heard it before.
If I do this for you, Miss Eastley, I don't want to ask for dotted I's and crossed T's. If I get creative, as you put it with Miss Harper, I would hope you could help me find a fighter for my little tournament. Two, if you're feeling generous. You show her what happens when you threaten Van Horn and I will find you a fighter that will steal your show. Maybe a couple Bert of is my daddy. Lowell brothers. Yo, yo. Imagine the drama. Two brothers fighting to the death. That will be something. Show me how you play the game. Then return to Van Hall. And we will talk more. Dakota, show Mr. Jew down. Sure. It was a pleasure to meet you. Till next time. Au revoir, Miss Diesel. What is that, like Spanish or something? No, it's French. Oh. <laughs> the fuck is French? Interesting. Um, gonna be honest, I'm kind of confused. What did he want? She's a friend I met a few months ago. She's been spending time in Van Horn. Yeah, she, uh, I met her back when I used to do my little petty crime around the crossing, and she's always kept her mouth shut. And I asked the scout in Dakota if it was fine if I brought her down to Van Horn, and they said okay. Let me ask you something. Yeah. That was your choice to bring her to Van Horn. Their actions 
lie upon you. Oh, um. Will she walk through the other side? Or have you brought her here to die? Well, she's never done anything before, but she's always been complicit with, I guess, holding on things for me and whatnot. She has her uses, that's for sure. I just, I don't know if she'd be ever able to do the same thing as me. I guess that's more of a question for her than for anybody. Like I said, I don't know her all too well, only a few months. Then why did you bring out a van horn? For the social gathering? Yeah, like I said, I thought she had her uses. Maybe she's ready, huh? I don't know, I could... Could talk to her and see what she wants and get back to you on it. so much to learn. Yeah, I guess. I don't know, I just... I don't like the idea of being held accountable of somebody else's actions. Taught me so far is you use what's good and then you cut away the bad. And right now I see something useful. No reason to cut away until it's bad, right? tell you that he's been teaching her a few things as well. You got me as a girl. Of course. Walking into the rug store and seeing this. <laughs> I 
I don't know what we're gonna do with Jude yet. I don't. Well, Wallaby. Wallaby doesn't trust him. Here she is. But we'll see what he does. Hello. Thank you, Adol, so I can see you better. All right. Rightly. Correct. That would be me. Tell me about yourself. Who are you? What do you do? I mean, I do whatever I want to do, really. Most of the time here, though, I fish, help Harry out sometimes, Dakota too. Whatever you want to do. And what is it you want to do? I'm not sure, you know, I just make a life for myself, really. What kind of life? The life I enjoy living, of course, doing the things I'd like to do without anyone telling me what to do. You want freedom? I'd say so. Well, you've come to the right place for freedom. Van Horn is... It is freedom. And so much good to hear. What have you seen in your time here? Yeah, I am um, not too much. Just spent a lot of time with Dakota, really. Sometimes Scout and Harry in a Sioux, of course. Yeah, I got money. Where did you get it? Fishing. Just fishing. For the most part, yeah. What else? I mean, if people aren't looking, then you know, they ain't looking, right? Right. You've been spending time with Matt. Uh huh. What has he been teaching you? He wanted me to blend in in uh, Valentine and listen to what the sheriffs were saying. So I snuck up right on the roof and I listened to all four of them talk about a stabbing that happened and they didn't even know I was up there. Then he said I wasn't blending in, that was hiding on the roof. So I said, you know, I didn't do it right. Are you friends with any lawmen? I don't know any lawmen, no. <laughs> Did I make a joke? No, I just think it's funny that anybody would be friends with Lawman <laughs> if they're going to be in Van Horn. Why is that? Doesn't seem like Law's very welcoming from what I've heard. Here in what Van Horn, that is. Heard? Law don't come this way on account of they was trying to come in the other day. That, what was their name again? Bolton Lady said, oh, we don't come through here, you know that, and this, that, and the other. That's right. We are the only town in the crossing that is truly lawless. Their office lay in ruin for all to see. I've seen that all burnt down. Yep, he brought me here, introduced me to Dakota and Scout and Harry. Oh, I guess Lorna too. You are a very... I mean, if, if I don't do it... And... Did he tell you 
what he had to do to stay in Van Horn. Uh, no. What do you have to do? Why don't you tell her to enlighten the young lady? Talking about what Pete did to me. Are you in the rug store? Well, they invited me here for a chat. And they taught me a lesson. That's right. Everyone is accountable for their actions. Here in Van Horn, we are lawless, but we are not savages. Everyone needs to prove their heart is true. That freedom comes before all else. Everyone needs to sacrifice something. What did you sacrifice? Everything. Say. Van Horn is everything to me. But you pass the test. And I can show you freedom that you've never experienced in your life. How badly do you want to be free and do and say and take what you want? Bad enough to keep breathing every day. I'd say so. You see that door to my left? I do. I want you to go through that door. Walk down through the corridor to the right and wait there. All right. But Riley. Yes? If any part of you doubt, do not walk through. There ain't no going back. Once you step onto the board. I understand. and the teacher better. She keeps her mouth shut. She comes back to Van Horn. And she'll pass the first test. You're doing her a favor. 
I'm doing her a favor. Yeah. Watch. No, I think you'll do a good job. Hey, Riley. Riley. Right here. Oh, God. I don't want to hear this. I feel like a terrible human being. Welcome to Vane Horn. This is a lesson. You're gonna have to learn this just like I did. Jesus Christ. Saint Denis, let the law find her. Okay. Good to see you, Scout. And you. You miss some things. Yeah, you did. Well, what kind of things? Alvin's gone. He was weak. He was a fool. So we cut him out. Do you have a problem with that? Uh, yeah. Yeah, I do. I am, uh... A little upset that I wasn't there myself. How'd you do it? Did he admit it? No. Stuck to his guns to the end. I believe he thinks he's protecting Annie. The fool.
Well, in the words of our lost friend, trust is all we got, and it's all we need. Any part that is untrustworthy should be cut off. Any weakness must be disposed of. Van Horn is only as strong as your weakest link. He's no longer our weakness. damn shame is what it is. So much potential, so much time invested just to go to waste. Lady looked at him and smiled and he threw it all away. Even if what he says is true, it's only a matter of time before a sweet deputy smiled at him. Had to be done with. Anyway, it's good to have you back and looking healthy. Indeed. It's not TB, I learned. I've been telling everybody it was. Mm. Just a common cold. Oh well. Let's uh go check the telegrams. See if Domino's got back to me on this Gwendolyn thing. Have you let Scout know about that? No. <laughs> for your explanations. What? I said I'm leaving that to you. No, 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 Dakota! Yeah, you do it. You do it. Yeah, okay, yeah, no. Hey, let's take the wagon back to Emerald. Yes. Thanks for looking after the bitch, Harry. Yeah, was that Matilda? Saying that, so I think that she's absolutely Mama. losing our goddamn mind and we're gonna have to put her down. Yeah, we had a conversation about it already. Oh, yeah? Right when Sue gets back, tell him we'll be right back. Okay. The kind where she's depressed and hallucinating my existence inside of her is hotel room. Is Blue Bonnet streaming Sue and that yet? She she's not hallucinating. It's that he's not. And she's perfectly fine. Yeah, we'll do it. Not yet. All right. Damn, man. He's got so much character development that's happening every fucking day. <laughs> That was also a test for Sue, by the way. That was a double test. See if he's willing to beat up a friend for Wallaby. He did no questions asked. That's huge. Any of us wanted? Uh, I don't think so. Lovely. Only Matt. Of course. He even cracked his knuckles beforehand. I know, right? Dude, Sue is... 
he's turned to be bro he's he's the he's the prodigy man it's not sleek <laughs> I think Vandal just driving everyone insane. Good. Good RP. Good story. Now we'll see. Does she tell the law? Or does she take her beating and come back? We'll see. Who's gonna be so fucking dark, dude? I've already ruined that, ruined that boy. By the way, Ty Shale, I'm so sorry I didn't get to your resub of 11 months, and it's not just 11 months; it's a T fucking three. Shale, thank you so much, bro. I, I hope you're still in the chat. You, you didn't leave because I didn't chat you out, did you? I hope not. I'm very appreciative of that. It's fucking huge, man. T three, thank you, mate. Almost a year. Next month, bud. Sliver. Thank you for the 22 months. Yo, yo to you as well. Longhorns, thank you for the one year. Bro's got a big nose. You're not talking about Wallaby. You're talking about Jude? The Jude situation is interesting. It's very dark, which I really dig. But at the same time, um, that Jude character is sus as fuck. So we'll see. We'll see what happens. I don't trust him at all. If he's got his uses, we can use him. If he doesn't... Then we'll do all that too. Thanks for playing Valheim yesterday, Verts. Played today, lots of fun. Oh, you're welcome, man. Um, I might be doing Valheim tomorrow, I think. What the fuck is he doing? I have no idea what he's doing right now. Oh, I see. Ba -na -na -na. Dude, imagine though, if like if, if Jude ends up being useful, can you imagine a situation where we get the two brothers? That'd be so fucked. Is this? Hammer Brothers? Yeah. Old prospector. No updates. I'm headed your way with some info. Saint Denis. A few minutes ago. All right. I'm headed there.
Very, very interesting. We got some stuff. We got some uh, story going on, which I'm, I'm hype about. We're doing some extremely illegal activities, but nothing like nothing crazy that's going to get us in trouble. We're disconnected from pretty much everything we've been doing, I think, except for the Queen thing. But I'm hoping, I'm thinking that we might have scared her. Bert is my daddy. Where she hasn't said anything because uh, Hammer, Hammer didn't want to. Uh, well, he said we weren't wanted, so she obviously didn't tell him. Too sexy, 93. Think of the 19 months. Woo, indeed. Welcome back. Welcome back. God, oh god, oh god. When I get to this area now, I think of Sleek with uh, with Smokey using the wagon for cover as we're running. She was just like, fuck this. That'd be wise. That'd be the smartest thing she could do. Uh, take, take, take a puppy to potty. Did we get a telegram from Domino? Yeah, he's, he's coming to Van Horn with some information, so. We're about to find out what he's got, if anything at all. second what are you doing luna i think she might want to go out i might have to dip for a second maybe you want to go out okay luna give me a second I'll take you out all right give me one minute i'll be in town with you all right give me one second i was gonna take her out go back Where were we? Steak is the superior meat. I agree with that statement. I agree. Wholeheartedly. You're hungry? So am I. I got leftover beef stroganoff, which I'm going to have as soon as I'm done here. Elk is pretty close. Never had it. Did 
Did he, did he say anything? No. Oh. oh. What are you going for me? So, I've been, uh... I've been fucking scourging the entire fucking crossing for this woman, right? <laughs> and there is absolutely no fucking wind of her at all. Nothing. I've, uh, I, no, I, I, I talked to some people and they said, you know, that she, she runs this, uh, uh, artist agency. Aha, uh -huh, that's good. Well, I was given like a, like a card with her telegram number on it. I mean, I already got that. And then I, I talked to somebody named Marigold and she said, uh, that the best place to probably find her, you know, would be, uh, you know, near the theater or around the theater people in St. Denis. Here. And they say that sometimes, you know, in the weekends, they have this, uh, there's a drama club thing. I think I think uh, in the weekends might be uh, the best lead I have that's so far. No, it ain't much, but I mean it's. Uh... I mean that's something. Yeah. All right. Well, I suppose. Good job yep. considering. Yeah, I mean I'm gonna I'm gonna stick my ear to it and and see if I can find anything out. And I'll uh, I'll let you know. All right. Well, the money's still on the table. I'm gonna take this just for today. I guess we'll put this on top of the 250. Appreciate the I know there's uh, yeah, sure. And like I said, you know, I'm gonna I'm gonna figure out about this uh this club thing and I'll uh, I'll reach out to you. Very good. Have you talked to Alice? Uh no, not yet. I'd recommend not. I don't believe she's best pleased with you. <laughs> did you shoot her? Yeah, well, that, I did. That might have something to do with it. Yeah, well, I mean, you know, this whole fucking war thing started because, you know, she couldn't make up her fucking mind. And I, you know, I don't care if she's not pleased with me at all. I'm going to have to talk with her. And if she doesn't want to talk with me, I don't care what anybody else fucking said. Mm. This whole war thing is it ain't over for me. Well, I want to over for you. I mean, I want to squash this, and this here is an opportunity to do so. But if you want to keep living in the past, that's her choice. Oh, she's right there. Oh, this should be entertaining. Oh, uh, yeah, I was about to say this will be fun. Well, it'll be you and I need to have a conversation uh, a little bit later. You're right. So, did you drop her off and send any medical? Yeah, I did. Very good. Good work. Thank you. What if I go underneath of in here? Get away from oh, me. <laughs> I don't want to talk to you. I don't care if you don't want to talk to me. You're going to have to talk to me. What do you want? So this whole thing that happened, like I told you the day that I shot you, it's the choices we make. Good start. So I want to ask you something. Because I was warned not to talk to you because you might have some ill will towards me. I was told that this thing, it's squashed. I get it. You don't have to like me. But I want to hear it from you because I wasn't there the day everybody, they, uh, they settled this thing. <laughs> Do I need to look over my shoulder when I'm around you? Say yes. What do you think you would say there? That's what I'm asking you. Probably me boring into the back of your head. Jesus. There it is. 
But it's not like I'm gonna go out and shoot you. Oh, I hear stabbing is your thing anyway. That is true. But I ended the war for a reason. And I'm not just gonna sit here and fucking start one again. The West is so fascinating, man. It's so different to out here. Even if I am displeased with how things ended. Dotty Mouse, thank you for getting out of sub, brother. Appreciate yeah, you. Yeah, so am I. I. I didn't really get a say in any of it. But if you're telling me right here, right now, that things are ended, but we can move on, I am willing to do so. It's going well, man. They're getting along very well. She's only threatened to kill him once. I have no intention of going after any of you. <laughs> Not now or in the future. Well, we know that's that a lie. That puts your mind at ease. We know that's a lie. It isn't about, you know, putting my mind to ease. It's just, you know, I'm, I'm done with this whole fucking sneaking around bullshit kind of thing. Oh, you were done with it. You did plenty of that, didn't you? <laughs> Don't say it was just me. You were doing it too. No, it wasn't. That's what I'm saying. I'm done with it. Just a reminder that the West don't do any, oh, uh... My. They don't do any sneaky shit at all, man. They don't scheme at all. Only the East does. That guy just passed out. Well, to be honest with you, I was, uh, I was looking through some of my stuff in Thieves. And I came across something that, uh, that made me think of you. <laughs> it was dead meat. I have, um, I have a Lancaster. I believe it has your telegram number on it. Something about golden, golden mills on it. Golden. <laughs> Oh, yeah. There you go. You want that back? That's a gift. No, you keep it. it. Doesn't mean much to me anymore. Ooh, shit. Golden Mills doesn't mean much to her anymore? Interesting. I got back what I wanted. That's all that mattered to me. Olive Branch rejected. <laughs> Like I you heard me say anything about it. I wanted to fucking kill Wakey or kill Jack. Don't uh, don't think about that, okay? It was a, it was a heat of thing. Forgive me. I can't tell if you're serious or being sarcastic. No, I am being very serious. Okay. Best friends. Man. Like I said, you know, you don't have to like me, Alice. But you will respect me. But I am, uh, I am gonna do, you know, more and more business. And some of the business, it also pulls me out east. If you're staying here, we're bound to run into each other. Hmm. And I think, you know, if this thing is really to be put behind us in due time, I think honestly, you know, it, uh, it goes a long way. Did you need anything else? No. Thank you for your time. It was a, it was a good talk. Yeah, great talk. See you around. Great talk, man. You want to kill me? Yes, I do. I'm not going to. 
All right then. Well, I guess I'm not gonna kill you either. I'm not gonna sneak around. Yeah, I'm not gonna sneak either. Okay then. Bye. This is essentially what that conversation was. <laughs> oh shit. I know she wants to kill him so bad too. That's what's the funny. That's the funny part. She wants that bad. If Wallaby, if Wallaby held him up right now and said, yeah, you can kill him. What happened to the, the gun troll? They haven't even thinking I was twice. It. Well, I mean, I'm, I didn't die, so I guess, I guess that's a, that's a plus for now. Oh, so like a window, All right, you know. Okay, I'll see you around. Lots so of crazy has been happening lately, so. Oh. I wouldn't put it off the table. Harry. Yeah. I want you to give this to. Burns is my daddy. Lorna. Happy four months. I started doing road RP finally after watching all these years, and it's okay. the most fun I've ever Madison. had. Make sure Here's she to many it more all. months. Years of great Verts content. Right. Cheers, okay. bro. I'm making her do something really evil right now. Very good. Make Where sure did she, she go? Drinks it now. General soul. Okay. So fucked. Yeah, I know. <laughs> Fantastic gaming. Thank you for the four months, brother. Happy four months. Started doing Red Dead RP finally after watching all these years, and it's the most fun I've ever had. Here's to many more months slash years of great verse content. I hope so, man. Hopefully, I'm still around in a few years' time. That'd be fucking cool. I don't know, though. Nice potential for failure. Nah, she won't fail that mission, man. There's no way she's going to fail that mission. All right, guys. We're going to wrap it up there. I got to go help my dad. I'm going to be back tomorrow with Valheim. I think Valheim. Probably Valheim. But also maybe Wallaby. I don't know. We'll see how I fucking feel, I guess. I don't know. Anyway, I appreciate you guys watching today. Let me say to someone. Let me just check who's live. Uh, let's go with mm, Davey. Yes. All right, guys. Go share some love with Davey. I'll be back tomorrow. Please be safe. Spend some time with your family, your loved ones. Big shout out to everyone that's uh, that hang around today. That subbed, resubbed, of course, gifted subbed. You guys are awesome. I'll see you. Queen version better. Of course, it's Queen. And fuck, it's, it's Freddie Mercury, man. Anyway, I'll see you guys tomorrow. But till then, ta-ta and farewell. Bye, guys.